all living organisms, such as plants, fungi, bacteria and animals, are all made up of cells. In this video, we're going to look into detail at animal and plant cells. Let's first look at the typical model of an animal cell. It has a nucleus, a cell membrane, mitochondria, cytoplasm and ribosomes. And you'll also need to know about the function of each of these parts. And by function, we mean the job that they do. So the nucleus controls cell activity and it is also where the genetic information is stored. The cell membrane controls what goes in and out of the cell. The mitochondria are where respiration takes place. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance where chemical reactions take place. And finally, the ribosomes are where proteins are made. This is a typical model of a plant cell. It has five things in common with the animal cell. It too has a nucleus to control cell activity, ribosomes to make proteins, mitochondria for respiration, the cell membrane to control what goes in and out of the cell, and also cytoplasm for chemical reactions to take place. In addition to these parts, the plant cell also has three other parts that you need to know about. Firstly, it has chloroplasts, and this is where photosynthesis takes place. The chloroplasts are green because they contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. In addition, plant cells also have a vacuole, which stores cell sap and keeps the cell firm. And finally, it also has a cell wall, which provides support. The cell wall is made from cellulose. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.